Hello everyone, this is Babes of the Ortho Biker. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do our first ride on this uh, fully auto-tuned Sportster after about four auto-tuned sessions using the Two Brothers Racing Comp S Stainless Steel 2 into 1 exhaust. Man, that's a mouthful. If this is your first time joining the channel, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of any videos I may put out in the future, videos just like this one. It really helps and supports the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Well, so let's go ahead and jump on the bike and go for a ride. So first thing I noticed right off the bat is now that this bike is auto-tuned and about as much as I can get it, this bike runs so much smoother than it ever did with the slip-on exhaust. It's got a little more pickup. There's still a little bit of a lull in the first couple thousand RPMs as far as torque is concerned, but maybe that's just, you know, my butt dyno and I don't really have like hard numbers on it. it just feels like it but without being able to ride them back to back it's hard to say but overall this bike definitely has more get up and go uh, it's definitely more zippy in the higher rpms I, I can say that with certainty and that's probably because of the more free-flowing exhaust than what the slip-ons were allowed to provide. I didn't realize how small the Harley pipes were until I took them off the bike. I mean, for what they were, they're good, but they don't allow nearly as much airflow as a new set of header pipes and a full exhaust would allow overall. So as you, if you watched the last uh, video or two that I put out uh, on this exhaust, the, the sound is completely different. Um, and I'll go ahead and interject a sound clip right here. And side by side, you can tell the two-in-one exhaust uh, has kind of a more bassy tone, but it's not as sharp on the high end of the sound. It's hard to explain. It's not as sharp sounding. It's, it's not, I, I want to say raspy, that might be the wrong word. And it's also not nearly as loud. I was able to have a conversation standing next to my bike with the bike running with the two-in-one exhaust versus the slip-ons. Definitely much faster. How much faster? I don't know. I don't have a dyno chart, but I will eventually get one to kind of see what the power levels on this bike with the current setup. And as far as the current setup, anyone's curious, I have the DK Customs Outlaw Air Cleaner. I've got the uh, Energy One Performance Clutch. I've got a performance oil filter from DK Customs. Um, and it's a small thing. Most people might not think it worth mentioning. But I have the Iridium spark plugs from Drag Specialties, and I will tell you the Iridium spark plugs made a noticeable difference in power on the motorcycle, uh, at least the delivery of power. I think the website said they actually added a couple horsepower worth of power to the motorcycle overall. Um, plus, I've got the external breather uh, catch can, 
so I'm not spewing hot air from the breather bolt back into this, uh, the cylinders. I've got the full exhaust, and I'm hoping, hoping, in the next you know, year or so to put a big bore kit on this bike. And then pretty much after that, anything else I do to this bike will pretty much be aesthetic, because it will have mostly everything I want on the bike, and it's pretty close to its final form already. One thing I do notice, and this may be the nature of the exhaust, is once it hits above 3,000 RPMs, you can notice a surge in torque. It starts to pull a bit harder, and you can feel it. It's noticeable. That wasn't there before when I had the slip-ons. And when I did the last uh, gas fill-up uh, after my last auto-tuning session, I did the math, and I was getting 48 miles per gallon. That's probably a good 10 to 15 percent more than what I was getting more than what I was getting before. So I don't know if the auto-tuning session itself or the auto-tuned bike is getting the greater gas mileage or if the exhaust is contributing to that. I don't really I'm not I don't have the mechanical knowledge to really know or the engineering knowledge, as I say, to know which one is affecting which one. But the bike runs smoother. I'm getting better gas mileage. It's definitely got more power. How much, I don't know, but I will get a dyno on it eventually once I find out how much it costs. The exhaust just looks amazing on the motorcycle. I've gotten a few compliments on the exhaust. Uh, I do, however, <laughs> I have left my fingerprint on the exhaust. Um, I'm going to try and get a metal piece um, screwed or bolted or whatever to the side of my brake pedal keep my boot from going into the exhaust because uh, apparently I've done it a couple times and it's left its mark. I'm going to see what I can clean it off with, if it can be cleaned off, or I might just leave it there as my, my thumbprint, as if you will. Uh, like this is my exhaust, don't touch. But this exhaust has really woken up this bike. This exhaust will be well placed and ready to go for when the big core kit does arrive. Or, you know, not in a way that's good. I know some of the purists out there might be upset that the bike no longer makes the classic potato, potato, Harley sound, but you know what? I don't care. It sounds cool as it is, maybe in a different way, but it makes better power, better performance than a stock Harley exhaust with slip ons or whatever. I will say, people say slip ons don't add power. Those three-inch slip-ons did add some bottom end for it. I, I can't deny it. It just now, granted, this is butt dyno. I don't have any hard numbers or official numbers, but it did add power to the motorcycle. It wasn't much, but it was noticeable. This is far more noticeable, just in a different way. The uh, the power band, I think, is, is shifted up slightly. Uh, again, no hard numbers. This is just butt dyno and my impressions. But in higher RPMs, the motorcycle is way more zippy. At a third gear on this motorcycle is happy gear. All the way, you know, from 30 miles an hour all the way down to however fast I can get that gear. It, it's the go fast gear.
but overall I am super pleased with this exhaust. I love the way it sounds. I love the way it looks. It's going to save me money in the long run. Maybe not make back the cost of the exhaust, but it'll save me money in the long run with the fuel efficiency uh, savings, as it were. The motorcycle runs smoother. And I don't really have any ne anything negative to say about the exhaust, other than the install instructions were not the best. And it was a bit of a pain to install the muffler to the, other, to the header pipes. If you follow the tip I mentioned in the first exhaust video, in this three video series, it, it's really easy to get on there once you kind of <laughs> reverse their uh, exhaust muffler bracket step of the install. But I think we'll wrap it up here. If you have any questions about this exhaust, any comments about anything I've said or done so far in this video, or the last two surrounding this exhaust, please leave a comment below. I try to make it a habit to respond to any comments and questions that are left in my videos. But as always, keep the two wheels on the ground, shiny side up, ride safe, and I'll see you in the next one. 45. When the heck did they extend the 45 mile an hour speed limit range of Gasville? Blasphemy! I wonder how many tickets that generated, speaking of government induced speed traps.